one or two very basic python specific questions were asked to me whatever you are adding in your resume you should be very much thorough with it so that the interview whatever he or she Correct. asks you are ready for the answer currently i am working with sap labs and you know, i've cracked essenture Hi and welcome to Coding Ninjas my friends. I'm Kabir Singh and I've brought to you a very spectacular and an awesome interview experience. Today we're going to talk to Pranshu regarding his Accenture interview experience and we're going to know how he actually cracked Accenture and what are the rounds that are involved while you're sitting for placements in a company like Accenture because I guess nowadays Accenture being a company which is you know highly recruiting at a very vast number i guess people are readily applying for that so let's talk to pranshu and see how he actually came up with a company like accenture so hi pranshu how are you hi kabir yeah i'm good pranshu if you could give me a quick introduction about yourself sure hello everyone my name is pranshu avasti and i've graduated from uh, jp institute of information technology noida and i am a 2022 graduate currently i'm working with sap labs and you know, i've cracked essenture on my campus only that's great that's great so talking about a company like essenture how was your approach like you know were you practicing dsa lead code heavily or you were just chilled out while you went for the interview at essenture well i would say that uh, i was preparing for uh, the placements in general not particularly mm-hmm. for essenture so yeah i okay. was grinding lead code but if we particularly talk about essenture yeah i just focused on a little bit of aptitude and Correct. some computer science fundamentals okay so now i want you to tell us and guide us on how was the interview experience how many rounds were there first of all in uh, essenture yeah so there were i think uh, only two rounds which uh-huh. uh, one was the online test Mm-hmm. and the online test however consisted of various sections but that was only okay. one test and uh, it was followed by another interview which was okay. kind of a little bit technical and hr integrated we can say it was an hr plus technical round and the first round was the oa online assessment absolutely yep okay now let's try briefing out the first round ranshu and let's discuss what were the sections and how you actually came up uh, solving the questions that were involved there so basically the online assessment consisted of two major sections one mm-hmm. was the multiple choice questions okay. and the other one was uh, the coding questions so okay. if we particularly talk about the mcq section there were questions from aptitude okay. and uh, from computer science fundamentals uh uh-huh. yeah probably these were only two so aptitude i would say they were easy to medium okay. questions only and they were very basic uh, and uh, some questions were medium level but okay. uh, from the computer science fundamentals perspective the questions were easily i mean they were quite easy to approach uh, very okay. they were okay yeah so when we talk about the mcqs how many mcqs were there do you remember yeah definitely so there were uh, 90 mcqs which okay. uh, were had to be done in 1 hour so okay. it might sound a hefty number but uh, looking at the difficulty level of the questions it was uh-huh. easily achievable okay so it consisted of only computer fundamentals or was it including your c++ or some language basic some aptitude mm, or all yeah, of that yeah so yeah it was everything mixed up all uh, the 90 questions consisted of aptitude and and computer uh-huh. science fundamentals and some right. language specific questions as well correct correct okay and then moving forward you had your coding questions as well in the second section absolutely okay and what uh, were the yeah. coding questions when you talk about them yeah so as we moved on to the next stage so there were two coding questions so okay. the first one was i would say a very basic one uh-huh. basically what the question stated that you had to mm-hmm. count the frequency of the elements which are present in a given array okay so basically we can approach it uh, by the brute force i tried doing that but nevertheless it would have taken more time time complexity would have been o of n square so i just optimized it right. using a hash map and that did the job for the first question okay and uh, for the second question it was a very famous and uh, i mean traditional question maximum sub array sum in which right. you have to find a sub array consisting of maximum sum so okay also a very traditional question from kadeem selgorgum <laughs> it was easily done. right correct Okay so summing up the first uh, round i guess we can state that it was difficulty between easy and medium not even medium as far i can understand is that right yeah you can say that anyone who has practiced uh, questions uh-huh. he would be able to crack that level of uh, oa very easily because you okay. know only one question the cardinal algorithm the maximum sub error sum 
that is something that you need to ponder upon because i noticed something that the constraints were something that uh, you won't be able to derive a o of n right. solution so so if someone has done that then he would be able to do it if he is not okay. aware of the cardinal algorithm then he or she might face some difficulty so i would say easy to medium that's the right. medium level moving forward towards the second round which was the hr plus technical round i want you to tell us what was there in the round and again we'll come up ending up concluding the difficulty of the second round as well the second round was conducted around 4 uh, to 5 days after the oa okay so basically it was i would say more of a hr so uh -huh. firstly i was asked to introduce myself so i gave my brief introduction and after that i was asked about my projects for projects right. i did and the interviewer went through my resume mm -hmm. and um, she also asked me about one of my specific project which was on uh, ml machine mm -hmm. learning after that one or two very basic python specific questions were asked to me okay about loops and certain statements other than that there were no coding questions asked more hr questions like how would you manage a team and what if you situation have based questions more to be more specific correct, correct. Okay. yeah exactly so situation based mm -hmm. questions were asked and that was pretty much it oh that was i guess a very smooth uh, interview experience uh, when we talk about yeah exactly so what i noticed that i also had my fellow classmates fellow batchmates who were giving mm -hmm. interview for essential so the level of interview difficulty i would say that depended upon the uh, the interviewer as well so right. some people were asked some coding questions as well and some were not even asked a bit they were just uh, asked some mm -hmm. hr questions introduce yourself some projects and that's it so More that of was luck something was working out for you i guess that day yeah 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 you can nice. say that. So moving forward I just want to ask you one last question and I really wanted to answer this with a little thought that uh, what would you actually recommend the people watching this video or our juniors coming up uh, for placements to do just a few tips or tricks to get good placements out there I would definitely say currently looking at the demand of the industry what is asked to the freshers is just I would say your uh, data structures and algorithms so you have mm -hmm. multiple resources and you have coding ninjas as well so you can practice right. and practice so this is the one main thing that you need to grind upon Correct. other than this you need to also build yourselves upon the main os concepts some dbms concepts oops all these computer science fundamentals i was from electronics background so i had to ramp up myself upon all these things so these mm -hmm. two are the major things but from a interview perspective i would also say that you should be thorough with your resume whatever you are adding in your resume you should be very much thorough with it so that the interview whatever he or she correct. asks you are ready for the correct answer thank you thank you so much pranshu it means a lot the way you actually guided us out here and i would really wish to record another video with you also guys if you feel like reading out this interview experience of pranshu i am also going to put up a link in the description below wherein pranshu himself has written an article on how his interview experience was at accenture so thank you so much pranshu for coming up and helping us with your interview experience and see you in the next video happy coding guys thanks